Hey guys, we are here in Jefferson, Texas, a little bitty town, and we're fixing to go find a virtual train cache, not the one that's fixing the past, <laughs> but one that's got a lot of good history about it, and uh, we're going to check out this nice little town and take you along with us, so let's go have some fun. campers even in Jefferson, Texas. So Jefferson, Texas is also known as the city on the bayou. It has a quite a lot of history and the trains are part of it. Jefferson was a bustling 19th century river port in an era of prosperity and wealth. Today Jefferson is a small American town that is reminiscent of its heyday. The city's Grand Hotel Excelsior House was built by riverboat captain William Perry in the 1850s and is the second oldest hotel in the state of Texas that has never closed its doors. Some notorious people have stayed at the Excelsior, President Ulysses S. Grant, President Rutherford B. Hayes, and Lady Bird Johnson, just to name a few. Southern charm graces this historic hotel with rich antique furnishings and a ballroom that is the centerpiece of culture and society in Jefferson. Well, that's a nice little tour she gave us. We're uh, we're gonna go on across the street now and find this virtual about the uh, train car. car. So let's go check that out. Oh, there it is. Jay Gould was a leading American railroad developer and speculator. In 1881, his railroad empire was the largest in the nation. His very own special train car, the Atalanta, is on display across from the Excelsior House Hotel. The private parlor car has a luxurious interior with four staterooms, a lounge, dining room, kitchen, butler's pantry, and a ballroom. Well guys, thanks for coming along with us today as we walk through this nice little town, learned a little bit more about the Atalanta. And the Excelsior House, the second oldest operating hotel in the state of Texas. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you next adventure. Bye guys. Bye.